everybody. Welcome to see I Learn Chinese Facebook page, YouTube channel, as well as English Radio Weibo. This is Niu Niu, and here is our final stop on the project along China's expressway. This is we are going to see the last stop on the Jingwuhuang Expressway. The last stop, the last stop, is the beautiful Jingdezhen. We are in the city of Jingdezhen right now. You can see that I have just played a little bit of this. Interesting and very beautiful music instrument. It is actually made of chinaware. It is a Chinese So this is going to be the stage of a Chinese a chinaware music instrument performance. It's going to be very interesting, and I think it's with the characteristic of traditional Jingdezhen character because Jingdezhen in the Chinese sense, in the Chinese culture, and I think in a lot of worldly culture, is considered the capital of porcelain, Cidu, capital of porcelain. I'm very happy to see all of you joining today's live stream because this is a very special one. It's a combination of our two major projects. We have the Along China's Expressway as well as Old Wisdom, New Insights. Something old about this place is that it has a huge history and culture behind it, and something new and modern behind it is obviously the beauty, the modern-day China attraction, the tourist attraction that is here in Jingdezhen, the city of Jingdezhen. So right behind me, you see many different kind of instruments made of Chinaware. I think shortly we are welcoming a performance using these Chinaware. We see this is Ci O, Ci O. Let's hear it. Very beautiful. But I am only like toddler playing with the music instrument. We also have some very professional performance giving the performance.、Um, they have been giving the performance in 40 different countries, and they have been spoken very highly of. And you see many different kind of 乐器乐器词的乐器 I was told that there will also be guitar. Using Chinaware, also be based in Chinaware, and also flute in Chinaware. Being someone who has been doing the New Year music concert with some of the masters in China's music world, I would love to see what this special performance would be. So let's leave the stage to these beautiful ladies and welcome them up. So we, beautiful musicians, just come up to the stage. Wow! Even their costume looks like China wear. Their clothes are very like and and the and the music is very matching. Meanwhile, let me say hello to many of you who have already joined the live stream. Aries, Harry, William, Jesse, happy to see you. Marie, happy to see you. And let's leave the stage and the performance to our lovely group here. 大家来欣赏表演吧。
号五号，欢迎到国家文化园示范基地古窑新手们表演。嗯，在座各位来宾，大家对还不甚了解，那么接下来我就要加简单的介绍一下。首先为你介绍的是瓷瓯，瓷瓯由四十八块瓷盘按照平均位排列组成，也包含所有业界中国是最早的件。世界名曲《土耳其进行曲》，词二胡。一段悠扬的青花瓷，瓷箫。苏珊呐，我们这大队还包括瓷骨、瓷编钟、瓷琵琶、瓷骨针等等，就不介绍了。接下来，请去欣赏江苏民歌《茉莉花》。
Hey guys, did you enjoy the performance previously? We've had some very interesting instruments with the element of Chinaware, of porcelain, of Si. Like I said, we are in Jingdezhen, in the province of Jiangxi. Here, not only can we appreciate the beautiful uh, sight scene, and we are also going to have a little bit experience about the Chinaware porcelain si, because this place is considered the capital of porcelain. Here is also Cidu. If you like this place, you can definitely travel through China's expressway from the beautiful Huangshan. You can climb the Huangshan mountain a little bit and appreciate the old village of Cidu. Then you can visit Wuyuan, where there are many ancient villages surrounding Wuyuan, and there's also so the native place of Zhu Xi Zhu Wen Gong, you can climb the Wen Gong Mountain, and after that, alongside the Jing Wu Huang Expressway, you can come here to Jing Dezhen to appreciate the culture of Chinaware of porcelain. In the meanwhile, let me say hello to many of you who have already joined us. On top of Jesse and Kenny, who have already said hello to, I'm also saying hello to Kim Bar saying. That's very beautiful. I totally agree with you. Vera saying, 朋友们早上好. Morning, friends. Morning to you, too. Wei Yuan Yong saying, amazing instrument songs. It keeps me calm. I know. Actually, a lot of elements here in the city of Jingdezhen would calm you down so much. It's like the dedication to really um, cautious works as well as the beautiful music would give you a really good mood. It makes my day. Uh, William saying my favorite composition of Chinese music is Dance of the Yao People by Liu Tie Shen. Wow, that is a very specific song. And some man saying any Chinese speaker wants <laughs> Chinese ex language exchange. Yes, you guys can have a discussion over that, of course. Steve saying, is it on porcelain? Yes, it is on porcelain. So, that is why that performance is called Yes, and also the performance are very beautiful. I agree with you. And also we have M saying hi, Lao Xi, hello to you too. And Sensar, super beautiful uh, and great. For it, I think I agree. Thank you. And A H saying good morning. Good morning to you too. If you have just joined the live stream, you should totally watch the playback a little bit later. But now you're watching here. I learn Chinese Facebook page, YouTube channel, as well as Yingyu Huan Jiu Guangbo. We are doing the second season of Old Wisdom, New Insights, where we visit interesting places with huge culture background and a long history in China and bring you the beauty of modern day China. So right now I am actually standing in front of a workshop, Gong Zuo Fang. Gong Zuo Fang in Chinese, Gong Zuo Fang. In this workshop we get to see different procedures in making a Chinaware, in making a porcelain. You would see how a chunk of mud became a totally artsy beautiful artwork. So let's go and check it out. Ah, hello. Hello. Hi, hello. very nice to meet you. Nice so we have a lovely friend here. She has already given us a very interesting tour and she knows all about this workshop. Actually, she knows all about the city of Jingdezhen. So we are going to have her with us the entire procedure of the live stream. Hopefully, you guys, if you have any questions about Chinese culture, about Chinese porcelain culture, about anything you want to know about the city of Jingdezhen, you should definitely ask because I am no master, but I'm standing next to one. So would you like to give a short introduction of yourself to our audience? Hey, hello everyone. I'm Fanny. I'm your honor Fanny. to be your tour guide. I'm very happy to have you. I can call you Fanny. Yeah, right. Okay, Fanny. So 
first and foremost, to give us a short introduction, like five sentences about Jingdezhen, the city of Jingdezhen, and also the tourist attraction here. Okay, here now we are standing in the oldest production line mm. of Jingdezhen. Jingdezhen we meet personally for about two thousand years since the East Han Dynasty, and we meet personally for the royal family uh, for one thousand years since the Song Dynasty. Right, and this place was uh, an East uh, original factory, which we made personally make the bowls for the royal family. So basically, we are looking at something that was only used used to be for the royal family, That's for the right. empress, for the most high status people in China. But now it's. For everyone, and we even get to see the making of it. So, what are we doing now? As you can see now, this old craftsman he is uh, making the clay. That is counting clay. We said in Asian hand, we had a good water, good clay, and a good craftsman. Mm. Uh, you, you you can guess how many steps, how many processes we will need oh, from yeah. counting clay to a final product. So now we already have a question to our dear audience. Let us know in the comment area how many steps do you think it takes to make this piece of clay, or in my mind, just a chunk of mud, into a beautiful right. porcelain. So, from this, so just a mud, the first step. Actually, it's not about throwing. The first thing, the first step, just we get the mud, get the clay from the mountain. So we from clay. 变到一个漂亮的瓷器需要多少步 ？How many steps、That's、do you、right. think it'll take? So let us know in the comment area while we take a look at the first step of the shaping of the beautiful bowl. As you can、wow. see, right, this craftsman is shaping a bowl. Because in ancient time, we don't have electricity. He just used the wood to rotate the wheel. Ah, so you guys can see that we are directly using a wheel to turn. So instead of having A、electricity, any kind of energy, a motor, even like to use yourself. That's、so、right. Like <laughs> <laughs> Now he, this craftsman, Mr. E, he is using a knife to shape the size of the bowl, big or small, a couple of dish up to him. This craftsman, he make it, he work it on this step for about forty one years. Can I try it? Yeah, you can have a try. It's very hard. It's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> have a try. Looks very easy. Generally speaking, for one craftsman, we use、uh, about three to five years to master this kind of skill. Three to five years? No way, I can、you、do just this. Just sit, sit over there. 你好，我可以试一下吗？可以啊。那我坐在这里吗？在这。哎，好的。Thank you. Thank 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 Water your hand first. Make it wet. Oh, 我好滴了一点水在这个碗上，会不会破坏它 ？Will I break the bowl? They're very. I think they're very delicate and beautiful. I don't want to break them. Not even with water. Okay, so yes, handing water. 保持手的湿润哈，手握住这个。You have to keep them wet and moist and give a hold. 找到手感。哎，我来帮你开开。这里面的这个就没有。为什么被我搞出了一个小蘑菇？拿手拉开，我那。I got a little mushroom. I know I'm wrong, but this is fun. Okay, so I made it more difficult. I have to say,、uh, when you touch it, it's because when I look at it, it looks a little bit like a doll, like a doll you prepare before you cook, you bake, before you bake. But actually, it's more like. I yeah, it's just playing with mud. You know what it's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 老师，老师，两个大拇指在里面，大拇指在里面。我的大拇指是太细了吗？四个手捧着，啊，要轻要稳。Okay, so you have to be very delicate. 指肚子捏，用指肚子捏。用指肚子捏。Very delicate and very stable. 感觉这个手呢有点干涩了，就放手蘸点水再来。Ah, if you feel it's getting a bit dry, you have to get some water. You continue. 捏捏，慢慢的往外面拉。And you pull it out a little bit. Make sure they stay wet. See, I didn't got a ball. I got a plate. 我没有做一个碗哎，我没有做成碗。可以做碗吗？我做了个盘子。I got a plate. 
And my teacher here is very patient. Okay. Oh, it is now a bowl. This is so fun. Okay, really fine porcelain is supposed to be very thin. Like, you want to make it very I think I should come here and stay a year or so to learn this technique. It suits me so much. <gasps> Oh, this is not entirely my bowl, but it's a bowl. This is the bowl. Thank you, thank you. I think he could not be here, but we can see it. Okay, a bowl. 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 Okay, so if you personally come here to the city of Jingdezhen and you come to this Ooh, to this place and to this workshop, you can actually get your personal bowl and you can take it out there into the sun and try it a little. Bit. You can use the bowl made by yourself. <laughs> put this is a tiny them. bowl. Tiny bowl. After we burn it, it will shrink for about uh, 15 to 25 percent. Ah, really? Right? Really? Because we have uh, water in the in the, in the bowl. Water. You are right. When we That's dry right. the bowl, it will shrink uh, a little bit. Right. You you feel it's very soft. It's very clear. soft. You can put it in your cosmetics, <laughs> and you can even eat it. Yeah. Really? The Kowloon clay in old China. Why? We are, we are very poor. Some of them just eat it. Oh, that is a sad story. It That's is sad right. that when people are still. Worse, you under the poverty line, it is possible they do not get enough food to eat, so some of them would even eat clay. It's not going to give you any nutrition, but it's That's also right. not going to hurt you. Now, all of the Chinese people are lifted out of the poverty line, so we no longer have to experience anything That's like right. that. As you can see, after the shape the bowl, we put all of the bowls on the shape. Ah. It's a drying pool. The pool, uh, there's a pool under the shape. Why? Because in summer, it's very hot. The water will evaporate ah. to cool down in case the, the bowl is too dry and crack. Ah, that is very interesting. That's right. So you can see that it's very smooth, very smooth. There's no cracks on it, thanks to the water under. After we dry them, depends on the weather. Uh, when they are semi-dry, we came to the second step. Reshape it by the bowl, by the mold. So it's still a little bit soft, right? It's right. not entirely hard yet. So let's see. What this step is about? Appreciate by the mold. This craftsman, craftsman Mr. Chao, he worked on this step for about 45 years. 45, 45 years. years. Wow, that is very impressive. One craftsman, one life, one step. Jinezhen oh. was regarded as one of the first industrialized city in the world. In a thousand years ago, right? Yeah, right. Before 18th century. Very so let's take a look at this. But there comes the question. Different part of the bowl were the, the thickness is not the same. So uh, we say Chinese ceramic is thin as paper. When they are totally dry, we will go to trim it. So trimming is the most difficult step. Let's uh, go to the trimming step. As you can see, all the bowls are they are manual made by all of the craftsmen here in our workshop. This is a Real production line, like uh, as you can see, the old craftsmen that not just to show to you every day they can make about yes. more than 100 bowls. So instead of being a demonstration or just a tourist attraction, this is still a working workshop. So they're not actually performing for any of us, they are actually manufacturing or man making these beautiful right. China ware. This is the most difficult step among all of the steps in this workshop. Chimmy. Have a look. So if you think about your when you are trimming a tree, you would cut the little uh, leaves of the tree and to make the shape a little bit better. It's the same idea in Chinaware, in the making of Chinaware. That's right. We need to make sure they're... I think even the pattern is very beautiful. It's very... Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. He's a using a knife and that shapes like a butterfly. It's a butterfly ah. knife. 
Ah. To make sure every part of the bowl is the, the thickness is the same. Oh. See? It's very difficult. Before we burn, we call off the semi product biscuits. Bingan. Oh, <laughs> bingan. That's right. They are just this fragile biscuit. So we cannot touch them. We cannot touch them. Crisp. I want to touch them. You want to hold it? Let me, let me uh, teach you. Just the, the bottom of the bowl. You cannot like this. Crack and just hold Can I the buy bottom. one and break it? Just hold <laughs> the bottom of the bowl. Bottom, bottom of the bowl. This is still clay it's and very heavy. Yeah, but it's strange because I think when I was holding a pile of clay, a pile of mud, it felt soft, so it doesn't feel so heavy. But now it feels really heavy. We're going to still paint, we're still need to paint on it and glaze on it. Mm. Okay. Several more steps to go. Okay. So let's see how many steps. Uh, you guessed. I see LB saying great plate, Nyo Nyo. <laughs> I won one. See if I stay here and start making plates. Will you guys buy plates that I make? Let me know. And uh, Vivian <laughs> saying I like to try it also. It's really fun. Like I said, it's really soothing. In the Chinese culture, we have this concept of Zen. So when you're Zen, it means you concentrate on the things you're doing right now. When you brush your teeth, you don't think of anything else. You only think of brushing teeth. And I think doing this um, repetitive kind of work, but the work also requires concentration and requires high technique. These kind of works are the best for you to stay in the Zen mood. And when you're Zen, your mind is free, your heart is rested, and the rest of the world just stop existing. And to me, there were only two things existing: to make that bowl and to talk to you guys. So yeah. Let's continue to see what are continue some other see. steps. Um, I don't get an answer about how many steps yet, but let me tell you the correct answer. That is 72 steps, That's right? right. 72, 72 steps. steps to make a beautiful china ware. So if you have china, you know, from your wedding or something, cherish them. More than 70 steps. And 72 steps. That's right. See, what, what are the difference between these bowls and those bowls? Let's take a closer look. I want to get that right. <laughs> The color, the, the white color. Yeah, is, they're lighter. They're it's white. Glazed. It's glaze. This craftsman he is uh, ah, glazing yeah. on the outer layer of the bowl. We can find the letters on the bottom. Now the glaze co covers the pictures. Covers the pictures. After we burn, after we cook, the picture comes out. Oh. The glaze just like our skin, make the bowl smooth and bright. Yes. So as you can see. Now I think it's well. We have makeup later. So if porcelain or china wear is like a person, you've already have the um, bone and flesh that is on in the previous steps. And on this step, we are putting some beautiful skin on our china wear. That's right. All the layer of the bowl. <laughs> uh, this is transfer, uh, transparent glaze. Transparent uh, glaze. That's so right. So no color. The glaze is a mixture of quartz, mica, and a feldspar, mm. acidic oxide in it. We still have the red uh, color and the black color. They are different copper oxides. We're going to see them a bit yeah, later, later, right? later okay. right? So you will find the pictures. So what are the pictures? How to paint it? Let's move on. Okay. Continue to walk and see what are some... But now what is he that doing? That is also trimming, right? Is yeah, it? right. So it's trimming on the bottom of the bowl. Only on the bottom of the bowl. And you see the knife, the shape is different. Ah. This craftsman is the oldest craftsman in our in our workshop. He's uh, 79. 79. 79. Just retired. We hide, hide them back. Uh, and some of them enjoy the special subsidy from the state council. Since he was 11 years old, began to learn it. That is one very line, impressive. One step. Yes. Very impressive. Yes. Okay. Uh, Kenny saying Vivian, more of journey to the west. <laughs> and Vivian saying maybe you're referred to the wuxia drama. Uh -huh. You guys are talking about something weird. That looks a bit like wuxia drama. But what is he doing? He's just washed the bowl. Why are we washing the bowl? Because we're drying the powder on the surface. Ah. You know, to clean like our, me ourselves, so we will take bath. <laughs> <laughs> but these. Uh, bowls have not go into the kiln yet. That's right. Before we burn, when they are when they are dry, they are powder on the surface. Mm -hmm. So we, we we keep them wet. That's all right. the time. Before we glaze it, we will wash it mm -hmm. and keep it keep them wet. Then we glaze the outer layer. Oh. Just now we saw the bottom of the bowl. Now he's glazing the outer layer of the bowl. It's very difficult. You see the bowl yeah. just uh, uh, it's on the the edge. It's just uh, 
The glaze cannot be in the bowl, just on the edge of the bowl. Right? Very See? precise. We Chinese say 精细操作,这个就是精细操作. <laughs> 精细,delicate. You can so, see no water or no, none of those fluid is getting into the bowl, but he's putting the edge parallel, precisely, in the right. level of the water, of the fluid, into the glaze. That's Very right. We, we name all the bowls water. on the glaze, because the picture is under the glaze. We paint on it, then we glaze it, we paint and then it. we burn it. That's right. And we still have the overglaze. Getting better at it. <laughs> so what is overglaze? Let I will let you know. Yes. And we have Roger saying good morning. Thank you for showing me this very interesting. And can I get who's with you? Yes. Uh, we have Miss Ma in my Xiao Ma Jiejie. But yes, you right. have an English name. Fanny. Fanny. Fanny is mm -hmm. with us. Fanny is a tour guide I'm here. And you can see. Jinne Jinne guy. Yes. Born in native. Native. Yes. And, she, native, yes. That's and right. she is very good at her job. And she is introducing to us all the different steps and interesting skills of China ware making. We've already moved from a pile of mud to the shape of the bowl and we dry the bowl a little bit we put glaze on the bowl and now I think it's time for us to see our final product what would it be for the China wear to be like when it's out of the kiln and when it's but already that, burned. We still have the penny step as you can oh, see. Oh yeah, painting. Painting is very the important step. So after glazing it, you've already got really beautiful Skin, and now you're gonna have some makeup on Fish your skin. Facial cleanse and lie so quick, no copy. One lie. <laughs> what is Penny? You guess what's the picture? I think it's a very beautiful abstract That's kind right. of pattern. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is. It's abstract flower of Jinnan City flower chameleon. Ah. For a manual penny, for hand penny. That's right. Shan cha hua. hua. Let's learn that. Chameleon. Shan cha hua. Shan cha hua. As for hand penny, every leaf, every flower is totally different. Okay. So what is the pigment uh, she's using? It's not ink. It's called cobalt. Ah. Cobalt oxide. So it'll change color when you finish burning it. That's right. After yeah, after penny, then we're burning. Then the picture comes out into turns into blue, mm. as you can see on the right. Okay, we're going to see that a little bit. But mm. that action actually reminds me of my math teacher. She can draw a perfect circle, perfect <laughs> round circle in the blackboard, and so I think quick. she's doing yes, yeah, so, so quick. Like quick. Okay, not that quick, but that is what we always say on our page. Shu neng sheng jiao, practice makes make perfect. perfect. They right. they are performing perfectly. And now we get to see the final product. And this special final product is actually called qing hua zi, right? Okay, brand new white. Qing hua zi, qing means blue. Hua is actually the flower or the pattern. And zi is China wear. But here it is in, Chi uh, in Chinese, it's but in English you can call it ooh, blue and white. See, the both can say songs. Oh, we can sing the song. 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 We can sing the Okay, so the step is for you to kind of clean your finger first in the ball of water and I, I'm, I'm only listening to the sound that the master is making. I'm not making any. And then you dip your water again, uh, dip your finger again into the water, make it wet, and you start to grab hold the bowl by the end of it. And you start really trying to make the sound with your finger. I think the friction and the vibration is special because of the material that is used to make this bowlware, this chinaware, this porcelain that is what's making the sound so loud. <laughs> wow. Thank you. I cannot feel my fingers. It's numbing. 
，有点麻。那、yeah, it's a little bit numbing， 有点麻。Do you guys want to try? Let me know if you want to try. Ooh, try. we have. A, you know why? Why you did the voice kiss? Why? Sound? The Chinese say "gong zhen." Gong zhen, yes, the vibration. Uh -huh. That's right. We see a lot of very beautiful china ware here. Uh -huh. yeah, Expect let's take a look. for the the chameleon, <laughs> cha hua. We still uh paint. What's that? Yeah. Dao. This is the Chinese character. Dao. 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 Ah. Get, get how it's with the knife. Ooh, let's take a look at this one. I was told that with this one, you get to put them together. That's right. These three little cups. This way, this way. And then you have this. You can put them in. Oh, you can put them in, right? You can put them in. And then, yes, you've got the pot. So basically, the entire set of a porcelain ware, as well as actually, it's a tea set. The entire tea set can be. Store it in this way, and you can take it when you're traveling around. So, very convenient. Very convenient. Very convenient. Very convenient. Very beautiful. I'll leave it here. Let's see if people would open them up. They will. And then we still have a very special cup. Let me show it to you. Oh, special cup. I like special cup. This is a mug, right? That's right. Very big. Wow. What? Wow. There's flowers in it. And Chinese. it's a little bit, it's semi-transparent. You can see the pattern and character. And it's glazed in it. It's glazed right. in it. Actually, we, this is a three layers. So three we don't layers. see the flower if we uh, take a look directly into the. Mm -hmm. That's right. No, we don't see it. So inside the cup, no flower. Outside, none. -na. But if you put it under direct light, you can see the flowers. So three layers, three layers. That's right. Ah, this is too powerful. This is very cool and very expensive. Guess how much is it? Guess how much is that? I want that pot. We already have friends who want that pot. Hey, friends, come on, let's get it. Let's get it. Just see some beautiful pot. Yes, and great places you're visiting from Angela. Thank you. I totally agree with you. And we have oh many comments saying if on. I wonder if on the side someone re ready to put some rice into those bowls. <laughs> Guess how many, how much rice can all of the bowls contain? <laughs> this is so That's much rice fun. Bowls. <laughs> so this is our first workshop here. In this workshop, you get experience the making of these bowls, and mostly from scratch or at least from clay. Um, you started to get a pile of mud and make them into this beautiful bowl. We. See in the final stop, but we have another workshop. Workshop, right? What is that workshop for? Uh, the next workshop, we may produce the famous four kinds of porcelain in the region. Mm -hmm. Just to now, what we saw, we name it blue and white. Like this is blue and white too. <laughs> What's it's that? You know, recyclable trash can. <laughs> That's right. Made of China. <laughs> this is Made of like really white. very luxurious. Because you come to the region, the porcelain <laughs> capital. Okay, so blue and white is the number one. Of uh, number one in Indonesia, we still have uh, four famous castles personally. Mm -hmm. Just now we saw that brand white they were all underglaze. Yeah, you know what is underglaze? Underglaze. It's like you paint and you, you burn and then you glaze, right? The pictures under the glaze. Right? Okay, it's pictures under the glaze. So, so we still have overglaze. Overglaze. Oh, mm -hmm. so we're gonna see overglaze now. Okay. So it's in Yu Shanghua. Yu Yu is glaze. Yu. I know it's not the kind of character you want to remember if you are only entry level, but it's very interesting. What is overglaze? Let's have a look. <laughs> ah, they are more colorful. See? Yes, they are. Colorful. They are very colorful. This overglaze. For overglaze, we glaze it. We we burn it like this. The transparent uh, semi product. Then the master pen on the burned stuff. The picture is all is over the glaze. So we name it over glaze. Ah. As for over glaze, if you make mistake, you can erase it. Oh, for that's the, nice. <laughs> for those on the glaze bowl, you cannot make a mistake. You just add on it. So you can erase. Let's see if I'm right. The first step, you make a bowl out of nothing, out of a pile of clay,、mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you burn it,、mm -hmm. and then you glaze it. If it is overglaze, you glaze it and then you paint. If it's、mm -hmm. underglaze, you paint with special kind of fluid we saw previously, and then you burn it and then you glaze it. 
No, no, no. For the glaze is before. For under glaze, the glaze yes. is before, before burning. Oh, yes, right. Uh, glaze and then burn. So this That's is right. over glaze. We over glaze. have already got this so-called semi. Okay, can I see it? Thank you. Can I see it? The semi product. 天哪，这已经很漂亮了，居然是半成品。I think it's very beautiful, but it's a, it's still semi product, so it's 半成品 in Chinese. 半成品 And then we have this master paint on it. This master, Mr. Li, he's really good at painting fish. He's from a fish painting family, right? Seriously, fish painting family. The smaller, the more difficult to paint. The bigger, the more difficult to to burn to yeah. fire. See the tiny fish is very vivid. Have a look. Like swimming in the pool, but no water here. Oh yeah. Very beautiful. Have a look. 您画一个杯子需要多久啊？要三天。要三天。<coughs> so it took three days. It well, actually it takes three days for him to paint a fish like that. It'll take I don't know, thirty years perhaps for me to do that. <laughs> 谢谢您， okay. 谢谢。Mr. Lee's son, uh, he's uh, inherited inherited the kind of uh, technology ah. from his father. And here, there's some red glaze, the combination of color glaze and the over glaze painting. I was told in order to have a red glaze, it's really difficult, especially in ancient times, when mm -hmm. you do not really have the technique mature enough. So people say if Let you have... Chinese saying say, Yao Xiang Chong, Jiu Shao Hong. This red glaze we can long, long red. So it's kind of like you're trapped in between rock and hard place because if you don't do the red right. one, you, you won't get any good China ware that can be sold in a really high price. But if you really devote yourself into the making of these kind of red glaze, it's possible you're not you're not gonna success. You're not going to make it successfully. So you're going to be poor anyway. So yeah. You want High to be rich, risk. come to Jinjiajian and, and, and burn the long red. Yes. You can be rich generation after generation. So high risk, high profit. That's right. Let's continue to work. These are they were all over glaze. So how to distinguish over glaze and under glaze? You just touch them, right? For over glaze, it's not that smooth, like the the, the, the pictures. Mm -hmm. For under glaze, brown and white is very smooth because ah. the pictures are under the glaze. Yes. This is over glaze, longevity pitch. Shou tao, ah, shou tao, and a bat. Bat in Chinese, fu, bian fu, auspicious. <laughs> See? You can and touch it. That is underglaze, blue and white. Ah, let's take a look at the underglaze while we say hello to some of you. Jesse saying uh, cinnabar red, yes. And also we have Max saying, I'm glad to see that they still have master artisans in China of their Chinese culture. That's totally true. Actually, we are, especially in recent years, upholding the idea of the craftsmanship, right. craftsmanship. That is what you have just said. Mm -hmm. One step, one, one person, one, one life. life. And if you devote your entire life into just one step of this long line of different steps of manufacturing, this beautiful china ware, of course you're going to be excellent at it, just like the master. Like, yeah, like this craftsman, Mrs. Xu. She. She's painting yeah. really great yeah. painting. Yeah. 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 So this is the kind of lotus flower. That's and right. she's doing it very delicately. This one, like we said, is the underglaze painting, meaning that you cannot really change it or erase it if you make mistakes. So how to fix that problem? Don't make mistakes. That's right. <laughs> so hard. Very hard. And no copy. All the pictures on is under her mind. That's true. Around her mind. That's true. It's not like you can make a sketch first. No sketches. Just paint what's in your mind. Mm -hmm. They are all manual made, hand painted. Now we have the machine made. How to distinguish? Uh, okay. After burn, smaller, and uh, that's blue. Oh, 
我们可以对比一下，看一下您手里的这个吗？看一下，看一下，没有看。手里的这个和这个是一样的，对不对 ？OK， so the idea is to have it paint on it, and after the burning, it'll be like this. So before and after burning. <laughs> fire, ceramics, and a lot of clay and fire. Yeah. They are totally handmade. You cover, you 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 can distinguish any two cups. Every detail is totally different. Yeah. So it should be hand painting. We say, ah, uh, 手工啊，纯手工，纯 pure, totally 手工 handmade. 您好。您好。您现在在干什么呀？我们搞这个青花玲珑。哦、oh, ，青花玲珑。Oh. Like rice size hole, rice had a transparent rice size hole in, in it. Okay, so take a look at the master working, and I'll tell you what he's doing and show you some final product. Let's have a 30 second quietness. First of all, he, is, uh, you, he will use the knife, dig every rice size hole in it, make it hollow. And just the right size hole, because it's too, if it's too large, the, the glaze cannot ah, see. Ah, hold. Yeah, right, hold the holes. Then he seal the holes by the layers, layer after layer, at the most nine layers. Oh. Very difficult, take a long time. Then he, he will combine it with the brand white. He will paint brand white pictures on the surface. Uh -huh. Then he will glaze again. Try. Okay. And the final product, like this, like that. Uh, this kind of rice pattern technology we Chinese craftsmen invented in Ming Yonglu period, about mm. about uh, more than five years, hundred years of history. We have Kenny saying, can these items be brought at the gift store, or they do international export as well? Uh -huh. Yes, we can. <laughs> so search for Jing <laughs> Dezhen. Perhaps you can find some of some of the China ware, and you can have them. Delivered to your doorstep. That's right. If you pay the right oh. price. Like we drink coffee, the picture of the coffee can come out from the glaze. You drink red tea, the red color comes out. Green tea, the green color comes out. Oh, yeah, it's totally transparent because right. the glaze is transparent. So all the hollow pattern on the cup would reflect loyally about the fluid put in. So if you're, you know, drinking wine, on your work, on the job, people would know if you're using this beautiful yet expensive. That's right. Jing Dezhen's unique technology of Jing Dezhen. 特别好看，特别漂亮。谢谢您。Thank you very much. Have a look at the coffee cup. You can even see the sunlight. 日光下可以看到。在雾。See. Beautiful. Ah, in America, we also call it fire, firing to burn the pottery. Yes, that's the same idea. Um, I think there are different techniques in different countries and different kinds of aesthetics in different countries. Right, in Chinese, we say 欠玻璃的瓷器。对，欠玻璃的瓷器。So, uh, it's not glass, but we say it's the kind of china ware inlaid with glasses on it. Glaze. Uh, glaze. Glass like glaze. See? Oh. Those are the uh, zodiac, the twelve zodiac of Chinese. Just your Very remember, cute. Twelve zodiac, 十二生肖。那我们看到这个漂亮的大姐姐在画。您好。哦，您在画老鼠。Very cute. Have a look. If you're afraid of rat or mice, I'm giving you an alert. These are very vivid. You're going to think they're coming. To you, but they look cute. And our master here is painting the fur of the mice, layer up to layer, and most the twelve layers. Twelve layers. Twelve, twelve layers. Wow, very cute. Only looking at her, doing, performing the magic, I feel time is stopping. Or time stops here. 感觉看着您画，好像时间都静止了，就一直在一笔一笔的画，非常安静，非常啊，很祥和的感觉。谢谢。不，谢谢您，让我们看到这么高超的技艺。What's your What's your animal? What's your dog? Well, ah, mine is snake. Snake. I'm snake. 谢谢您。
哦、oh, ，是的，他眼睛瞄着你的，<笑>他眼睛是瞄着他的。哇、wow. <笑> ，Master saying that this rat is looking at me and the other one is looking <笑> at me. Yes, Fanny here. OK， 谢谢您， okay. 谢谢您，<笑>我们接着走走，谢谢 ，Thank you, Thank you very much. This is the very vivid monkey. Yeah, these are all sheep, horse. I'm touching it, and there are no actual fur, but looks very three-dimensional, I have to say. 扭转乾坤 ，Remember, we talked about it. 马到成功，诸事亨通。嗯，这些都是我们聊过的词哦。Have to remember that. Okay, so these are some really interesting glaze, and let's continue to walk into the kiln, right? 窑。啊哈。我们还有一个窑可以看，这个窑呢就厉害了，因为它有三百年的历史。That's right. It has three hundred years of history. Let's take a look at that. And these are all. We name it familiar rose. Familiar rose. It's a rose. 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 The latest kind of Qin Dynasty. Is it because it's very colorful and it's very, very bright? That's right. And the overglaze very、uh, like this kind of so 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 big jar. We will burn it for five times in the kiln. Ooh, five, five times. times. It takes high temperature for this color to fully shown. So you have to burn it again and again. Again and again. 要烧五次啊 ！We say 烧窑，是是说烧窑。烧烧窑,烧窑、嗯、烧 is actually burning Burn. or、uh, fire firing.、Cook. So same idea. Are we walking this, this side?、Right. Yes.、Mm. 我们现在要去看一个窑。所以今天是 ceramics and out of clean and fire. And、uh, oh yeah, it's an art and combination of clay and fire. Before 18th century, thousands of kilns. Were busy producing personal engineer gen. Personal is the then hardest to get merchandise of the world.、Mm -hmm. okay. Because of this,、uh, uh, China began to link to the world. Yes, I I heard a story saying that actually Chinese merchants are were very smart and because shipping these delicate porcelain, delicate chinaware, you would. Be afraid of them getting on the boat and just crack all over、That's、the、right. place, broken.、Mm -hmm. So they would put a little bit beans, some beans in it. That's right. Full in it on、so、the on the store. On the store, and、uh -huh. after putting a little bit of water, it will sprout,、mm -hmm. and the, the bean sprouts、right. would cover、That's、like、right. a package.、Uh -huh. That is very smart. Okay, you can use that. You 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 can you can have that. You can have the bean, you know, for the so long time of the journey. Yeah, you can, you can have that. It's kind of a vibration. Preventer, in、mm -hmm. the sense, and now we're walking towards the kiln. The kiln. That's is, the kiln. You know,、oh, yeah, you know nowadays we all modernize the skill. We used to gas and、uh, gas and electrical electrical kiln. Yes. But now that、uh, the kiln in front of you, in front of us, is the typical wood kiln. Ah. We、wood. use the wood, pine wood, chai, song chai, pine wood as a fuel. Okay. This kiln is the biggest, largest. An oldest kiln in the world,、oh. which was built in Qin Qianlong Qianlong period. So 300 years ago. That's right. This is a national treasure. You will see how huge it is when you get inside, because not only are there actually、uh, actual kiln there that we can take a look at, and also there are other craftsmen in it putting the very delicate biscuits, right? That's right. Biscuits, and we still use it. We still burn it. So、Only once a year. Once a year, so it's a working kiln. Once a year.、Mm -hmm. Have、Let's、a look of the kiln.、Look. This kiln is very big. It's very big. That is wood, pine wood. Uh huh. So the firewood there. Chai huo. Chai huo. Chai huo. Because Jinjiang is surrounded by mountains. Uh huh. In a,、uh, we have three parts of Jinjiang surrounded by mountains.、Mm -hmm. One part is、uh, this water. So we have a, a lot of pine wood in ancient China. Ah. And this kiln is very difficult to burn because in ancient China we don't have electricity, we don't have machines to observe the temperature. How to observe temperature? Oh, we're going to take, take a look <laughs> inside. Okay, so、okay. let's go. It's very cool. It is. So what is this? Hello. 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 可以把这些碗放进这个像蒸笼一样的里面，是吗 ？Yeah, right. We name it Sega. 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 Okay, so 
我们可以用手放吗？你们不能。不可以用手放。You cannot really use your bare hands to make it because it's very crispy, very delicate, like we said, fragile, like biscuit. Biscuit. So there is a special technique required.、Um, we use two very well cotton lines, 棉线是不是 ？Yeah, that's two right. Two cotton lines to put that bowl into the sago. Let's take a look. Have a look. 你看看啊，解放前的用这个。嗯。解放前 ，so in ancient times or previous times, we use two cotton lines to put it in. Like、yeah. Very stable, high technique. I think it will take around 300 bowls to crack before I learn that. <laughs> This is the modern, modern technique.、Mm -hmm. Only 30 bowls required. The cost will be 30 bowls for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. This is for small, small bowls. For bigger vest, bigger、uh -huh. jar, we have different、oh, sizes、yeah. of the sacks. We have larger ones. Like you add xiao long bao,、ah. the steam or mantel steam bao. We、uh, put them in a container. If you take a look, we did it and burn them directly. We burn. Actually, we cook the containers. Yes. yes. So the steam would be the high temperature touching the whatever inside the container. In this case, it's the chinaware. That's right. And let's see if you guys have anything you want to ask. <laughs> We have Max saying organic padding that bean sprouts very 聪明非常聪明 Thank you. Yu Li Zhong saying it must cost very much, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, 刚才我们看到那个。可以看到三层的里面有花的、uh -huh, uh -huh. 杯子多少钱？看，是六百二十块钱。六百二。Six hundred twenty. Yes, six hundred and twenty. Not that expensive. I don't think it's、uh, that expensive. I think it's worth that price. I would get one. Three three layers, and you can look around, see that、uh, in coming into the kiln, just like coming into original forest,、mm. there are a lot of pillars, the wood. None of these pillars are straight. Why is that? That's right. It's just a shape like a. If you stand in the middle,、uh -huh. they just shape like a triangle.、Ah, triangle is very stable. Stable triangle.、Mm -hmm. So none of these pillars are made of really straight、um, chunks because、mm -hmm. we want to have this geographical. That's right. This is a kiln chamber. As you can see, the very、oh, the biggest.、Chamber. Let's the, take a look at the chamber. So this is the original Yao. Original Qing Dynasty for the largest wood burned kiln in the world. So how large? 260 cubic meters. Let's、the、take a look inside. These are not real fire. These are light. <laughs> It's、uh, light. Don't worry about it. Every We're year on、uh, on October 19th. Mm -hmm. We burn it because on that day it is the Jinjie Ceramic Fair.、Mm -hmm. You can come here and you can burn a ceramic fire yourself. Oh really? <laughs> really by plywood. I'll come back again. So within this, how how big is it? How big is it? Ah,、uh, it's two hundred sixty cubic meters. We can we put all of the semi products as you can see in the containers in the sagas from back to front from lower to top. We call so you fill it up. Entirely, 要装满 right? 满窑是吗？满窑，满窑。一满 ，as you can see, first is 满、mm. ，the second is 二烧，烧 ，is burning. 三歇火，歇火 ，that's right.、Uh -huh. 歇火是就停下来了是吗 ？Yeah, right. Ah,、oh, stop. We full fill the kiln, and then when we burn, like the pictures, as you can see, like、oh, the picture. Oh yeah, here. We re remove the sheet, and this is the hole. We seal the、uh, we seal the holes by the brick. And the、so、letter will be a door open here. Tiny yeah, that's、window. right. We will lift two holes on the on the door. This is the uh, uh, wood adding hole.、Uh -huh. The wood will be put on the shelf.、Uh -huh. We just、uh, add wood here, but so long, so so big、uh, kiln. How can the re temperature respect? Yeah. At the back, we have a chimney. There is chimney.、Ah. We suck the heat from from front、uh, from front to back. So. I think that means the temperature in the this side of the kiln as well as the other side and the upper part they will not be the same. So there comes the question: How to observe temperature in ancient China? Before that, they won't be the same. So you need to decide what China where to put. That's right. Where, right? That is like we 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 burn that long hong, the long red、mm -hmm. should be put in the front side、uh, place. So highest temperature. That's right. Okay. So basically. In 
that、uh, the technology does not stop here. You still need very professional technicians to decide where to put which kind of porcelain, which kind of chinaware. And after that, you also need to detect the temperature. temperature. Like, how do you detect the temperature? Yeah. So you you look above on the roof of the kiln. In the middle, there's a tiny black hole. Can you see that? Tiny black hole. It's a small hole. Yeah. You, you see the tiny black, black hole, hole on the roof. The person who is in charge of the master is called in charge of the temperature is called a master. He will stand on the roof and spit, spit, right? <laughs> like spit. your saliva in it. That's right. Into the kiln and the hole to check the color of what is spit to decide the temperature hole、uh, is high or low. Ah, I'm not kidding you. It's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very interesting technique, and that brings us to the. Well, very end of today's live stream. We have been here in Jingdezhen for already an hour, but I do not really feel like、no, an hour. We still have another ten kilns. Yes. Actually, in our store we have eleven kilns of different dynasties: a very big dragon kiln, a steam bomb kiln, and a gourd kiln of different, different shapes, dynasty, different, different, different shapes. You can come back. Take、yes. a look. So、It、this is only a glimpse, a glimpse of the beautiful Jingdezhen city, and only a glimpse of this one. Tourist attraction. If you like to, you should definitely come back here to Jingdezhen. How to do that? Make sure you also use China's expressway. Welcome to Jingdezhen. That's right. Very happy to have all of you here, and thank you very much. Thank, thank you. 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 We would also leave some choice back here in Jingdezhen. Welcome to Jingdezhen. We are waiting here for you. We are waiting in Jingdezhen Ancient Kiln, in Gu Yao, for you guys. Hmm, Gu Yao, Minsu Boulevard. Boulevard, is it? This is a very beautiful place. And a final shout out to our friends on Facebook, as well as YouTube channel and the English Radio Broadcast Weibo Daniel, as well as Giovanni. And thank you guys so much for spending this lovely one hour with us. And thank you、oh, for being so with、cute. us for this. Thank you. Lovely one hour.、Love、Thank、it. you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. See you.